What is going on guys, Bank from REDX Digital. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up and optimize the Google business profile for your landscaping business. Now this is super huge, super important. This is probably one of the most valuable digital assets that you have as a business owner and getting this profile built, set up, optimized in ranking and search results can completely transform your business. I've seen it happen for several clients of mine where we start with nothing, we get the profile set up, we get it optimized, we get it to start ranking and the amount of phone calls, clients, clicks, you know, leads that they get dramatically increases. This is a huge step for you as a business owner if you can start to rank your Google business profile and it can totally change your business. So I highly recommend if you have not, follow along this video, get your profile set up as soon as possible. And um, I'll have another video shortly talking about some tips and tricks and some things that you can do to help rank the profile afterwards. So for now, we'll just start at the basics. Um, for those of you guys that might not know what a Google business profile is, if we come over to Google and we search something like landscaping near me, these top couple results are Google ads. Those are sponsored, paid for um, advertisements. But the first thing that shows up as organic searches is this set of three right here, which is called the Google Map Pack. So this is the top three highest ranking Google business profiles for landscaping in this area. And these guys probably get a ton of phone calls every single day. Um, because people that are searching landscaping near me, especially on mobile devices, a huge percentage of that traffic never makes it past the Google business profile, right? A lot of people are busy. They don't have time to come through and scroll through Yelp, Better Business Profile, Angie's Thumbtack, Home Guide, all these other random websites, right? The Google business profile is where the money is. This is where 90% of the clicks, the traffic, the phone calls are gonna come from. So obviously if you can get your business to rank in this area, <clears throat> it is absolutely huge for you and it can change your business and I've seen it happen before. So I want you guys to take this information, apply it, or if you need help, feel free to go to the description. You can book a call with me and I'll show, show you how to do all of this. We can get it set up for your business if it's something that you don't have time to do. But anyways, let's talk about kind of take a step back here. What do we need to set these Google business profiles up, right? The first thing that you need is a Gmail account and Gmails, as we know, are completely free to make. If you don't know how to make a Gmail account, go to YouTube or, you know, wherever you're watching this and find another tutorial. Most of you guys probably already have a Gmail for your business though, right? So I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. And let's just go to another Google tab. You can see that you're logged in with your Google account, your Gmail account. In the top right here, we've got the Google Apps menu. Just open that up and you can see in the top right, we've got Business Profile Manager. So when you click on that, this is your Google Business Profile. This is the back end of it. This is what it looks like. Um, it might be a little overwhelming at first, but there's a lot of different things going on here. All of them are important in their own way, but there's only a couple things that we really need to focus on for this video as far as getting your profile set up. So one of the key factors that goes into ranking your Google business profile is having a complete profile. And by that, I simply mean just filling out all of the information that you possibly can that Google's going to ask you for. So I recommend starting right here on the edit profile uh, button, and it's going to bring up this screen right here. Now, obviously you have a name for your business and your primary business categories. This is the first bit of optimization that you can do. For 99% of you guys, if you are a landscaping business, whether it be landscaping, hardscaping, irrigation, whatever uh, the case may be, I recommend setting your primary category as landscaper. And then under additional categories, there's a lot of different things that we can choose from here. And I would recommend adding every single service that is relevant to you. So you can add additional categories, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend typing these in because there's a screen later on that we can get to that is going to have Google automatically display the categories that it thinks are relevant for our business. So hold off on that, but I would definitely get the essentials like landscaper, um, lawn care service, landscape designer, and some of the basics that Google's gonna recommend to you. Now, the next piece of this is your description. So for the description of your business, there's a couple things that you're gonna to wanna to include. One would be keywords that are relevant to your services and your service area and also kind of a little bit of a history about your business, maybe what areas you guys service, how long you've been in business, and just some general kind of branding things. Um, think about this section as like the about us on your website. Um, if you guys don't have one of those, feel free to contact me. I'd love to help you set one up. But something that you can do that's really, really easy is just go over to ChatGPT and um, have it make one for you. So I'm not gonna do that in this video, but 
there's the sauce. If you guys have a couple minutes, um, you can input your information to chat, uh, chat GPT. It knows what a Google business profile description is, and it can help make one for you. So if you're on a time budget, I would just recommend doing that. Or you can like copy and paste the about section of your website and just add in some keywords about your services. So for opening date, I would want to make this as like old as possible. Obviously, you don't want to lie and say your business was made in a, a t you've been in business for 10 years when you've been in business for two, but be accurate with this, but also be realistic as far as when it was and as long ago as possible, the better, because this is what's going to allow your business to show up and say like five plus years in business, 10 plus years in business, right? So if you've been in business for two years, set it to the date you started the company, right? Contact information. Now, this is really, really important. So this phone number, if you guys aren't using a call tracking number, whatever your primary phone number for the business is, you can input that here. You want to link back to your website. This is really, really important because your website and your Google business profile, Google sees them as one entity because we are literally physically linking them together here. So your website can increase in rank as your Google business profile increases in rank and vice versa. And I've seen a lot of people that have from both sides of the coin, they have a really high ranking Google business profile, and then we make a website for them and the website automatically starts to rank really high as well because the Google business profile is ranking and vice versa. So it's really important that you link your website here and um, any SEO work that you choose to do in the future on either one of them is gonna directly benefit the other. So that's huge as well. Now, business location. This is where you want to add in as many different, or excuse me, this is your physical address. So. A lot of guys are skeptical about whether or not they want to list their physical address, their home address for the, those of you that don't have like a shop or a business location. And as much as I understand your desire for privacy, I highly recommend clicking to show your business to customers because this is what allows you to actually have a physical pin on Google Maps. So if I open up this tool right here, which I would also recommend you guys downloading, it's called GMB Everywhere. It's a Google Chrome extension. And I'm gonna talk about this a little bit more in the future, but basically if you guys don't um, have a address listed on your profile, Google Maps will not create one of these physical pins for you. And that's really, really essential for Google knowing where to show people your business profile, right? So I would highly recommend using your physical address for your business or your home address um, in this listing as it's going to directly benefit you and your profiles ranking. So for service area, you want to select every single town that you service or would be willing to go to uh, to do business. For your business hours, be accurate with this. Um, it's There's really no benefit ranking wise to having your, you know, online uh, profile say that you're open 24 seven or whatever. So just be realistic, punch in your actual hours here. This is also going to save you because people are going to search this profile. They're going to see it and they're going to want to know if you're open or not so they can call you. And this is a really great way to kind of just like set your hours. And also when people that are coming to you in the form of a lead, they know when they can call you and get a hold of you. So definitely fill out your business hours with as much accuracy as possible. For special hours, this is just holidays. So I would go through and, you know, nail out some of the bigger, um, you know, more important holidays like Christmas, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, stuff like that. People aren't expecting you to be open. Um, but every once in a while, I'm sure you've done this before. It's, it's a holiday. Like we just had the 4th of July recently. And you search something on Google, you want to see if they're open and it says 4th of July might impact these hours. Well, if you set special hours, it'll say yes, this business is open or no, they're, they're not. So it can be helpful for your clients, but for landscaping, it's not essential. Um, but definitely fill that out if you want to. <clears throat> so in the more section uh, from this business, there's a lot of different things here. Uh, Asian, black, Latino, LGBTQ, veteran owned, woman owned. I would not go through and falsify any of this. If you are Asian, black, Latino, LGBTQ, veteran owned, woman owned, whatever, then definitely do that. And it will give you a slight advantage. Um, I'm not going to get too political as far as why Google prioritizes those things, but don't lie about this just to try and get ahead on rankings. Um, if it's authentic to you and if it makes sense, then do it. Um, but just leave it alone if not crowd LGBTQ friendly. I would not touch that. 
Um, planning isn't required and then service options. If you guys do online estimates, this is a great box to check. Um, also, if you offer multiple languages, I know some of you guys that are a little farther south might do Spanish as well. So that's really important. And that basically takes care of all of the primary information for your Google business profile. So once you've got that set up, there's a couple other things that you're going to want to do. The first one is going to edit services. Now, this is where we can do a little bit of research on our competitors. So I'm going to go over to uh, GMB everywhere. And this is a Chrome extension. You just go to the Google Chrome store. It's free and you add it to your plugins on your browser. It's going to allow you to see a little bit more in information. So I'm going to search uh, landscaper near me. And when I pull this up, it does a little bit of an analysis for us. And it tells us the different categories that they're using uh, for their profile. So kind of go through and maybe see what some of the most popular ones are in your area, or at least what some of the highest ranking ones are. And you can see the pretty common trend is that landscaper is the primary category. And then very rarely uh, do we see additional categories used. But these are some ideas for some things um, that might be beneficial for you to add to your company if you offer these services so that's how you can do a little bit of research on your competitors and see like what's going to give you an advantage but if you go to google business profile and we search primary category it's going to say landscaper we got grass seeding um we don't need to add prices for these things but we if we go down to add more services this is where google based on your business and based on other businesses in your area is going to recommend specific services for you. So this is where I would go through and just check off everything that's relevant. So if you guys do sod, stone landscaping, masonry, rock landscaping, hydro seeding, uh, grading and resloping is probably another one. Uh, tree landscaping, walkways, yes. Uh, yard landscaping for like cleanups and stuff, absolutely. And that looks like all oh, is probably relevant. Green landscaping too, why not? and then just hit save. And periodically from time to time, Google will add more recommendations in that service um, category. So every once in a while, check back in here and see if they've recommended any new services for you. Um, also, as you scroll down, you can see it adds more options for you to add based on the specific services. So for this one, it says lawn care, uh, grass seeding, landscape and sod. So let's do add more services. Maybe we do lawn mowing and maintenance, absolutely mulching for sure uh irrigation system and repair yes uh, weed control and yard work so we'll just add those we don't do pest control or fencing installation so we'll hit save and go through and do this for every single category so now it says landscape designer let's add more services uh, we'll do turf installation let's see driveway landscaping garden landscaping gardening services garden design is a good one um landscape design construction outdoor water features retaining walls yes and uh, these other ones don't look so appealing but i would go through each of these sections and make sure that you check off all of the ones that are relevant to you even if it's a little like outside of your wheelhouse maybe like driveway landscaping um, this is might just be like people that want stone on the side of their driveway or some edging or something done. So I would check off everything that's relevant or that has a keyword in it, like landscaping that's relevant to your services. So that is the bulk of the heavy lifting as far as the profile setup. You want to make sure that your profile in this section is completely filled out. You've added on as many additional services as possible. And now the most important thing that you can do is do see photos and you don't have any photos, so you're gonna to wanna to upload them, which you can do um, once you're, uh, it says I'm not verified. This is kind of a demo account, so I can't, my restrictions are a little uh, heavy on this, so I can't go crazy in depth, but you're gonna to wanna to go to your photos and click add a photo, and it'll give you the opportunity to add your logo and also general pictures of your work. Oh, here we go, add photo. This is what I wanted, Never mind. Uh, so cover photo, this one I would do like a company banner, or if you guys have like a lettering on the side of your trailer or your truck or something like that, this would be a good one for that, like name, phone number, logo. And then for the logo, obviously do just your logo, preferably like on a white background or maybe a transparent one. 
uh, but your logo on a white background right here would work best. And then for photos, you're going to want to upload as many photos of your work as possible. Now, something that a lot of guys neglect is under the photos, you're also going to want to add pictures of your equipment, of your trucks, of you, if you're comfortable being in front of the camera, I'd recommend taking pictures of you and your guys working and, you know, doing projects, doing work, because it allows the people to kind of see inside your business, see your face, know that you're kind of willing to put your, your identity behind your business. And it adds a lot of trust and authority and can increase people's likeliness of wanting to work with you because they feel like they know you a little more personally by seeing you in front of the camera doing the work. So I would definitely, when you add your photos, consider adding those things. Also, if you've got a shop, take a picture of your shop, take a picture of like your shop with all the trucks lined up and your crew out there. Those are really, really big branding things that can make a huge impact as far as when people see that they want to work with you, they trust you more and they see that you're a legitimate business, right? So once you've got all of those things taken care of, the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is get verified. Now getting verified is a little bit of a tricky process depending on if you've entered your address or not. There's two options that you're gonna have uh, within Google to get verified and have this profile go live. The first one is by having a postcard sent to the address with a code on it and google is going to ask you to enter that code once it comes in the mail and you can do that if it gives you the option to do a postcard in the mail then i would definitely do that the other option that you're going to have is by recording a video this one is a little bit more tricky to get verified and sometimes you have to do it more than once google's a little bit slower to verify these as well as they have to be manually reviewed which is kind of annoying and a little bit of a time constraint but Overall, if it doesn't give you another choice, then filming the video is something you're going to have to do. And I will make another video on that because it's kind of an in-depth process. But basically, you need to film a video that proves your physical location, also proves that you have access to company vehicles and you have to show your equipment and stuff like that. And if you have an invoice that's like stamped with your logo on it that you've sent to a customer to prove that you actually are in business and billing clients, uh, then you have to show that as well. So kind of a little bit of a topic for another video, but getting verified is not impossible. It's a little bit of a tricky process, but even though it feels like Google's making you jump through a bunch of hoops, it is 110% worth it. And you're gonna have to get verified for it to be public and for other people to search your business on Google and find it. So that's kind of the essentials. Um, I will talk about some other things that you can do in these sections here in other videos. Um, but the one other thing, that and i'm not public yet so i can't see my reviews so i'll talk about that in another video as far as the easiest way to get your reviews um and get more clients and send them a link that takes them directly to your profile so i'll cover that in another video let's go back to our whiteboard here and cover some of these final bases so we went through the complete profile setup some keyword things for optimization uh the biggest thing there with optimization it's just making sure that in your description you want to make sure that you're using keywords like landscaping company dover new hampshire like all the areas that you cover mowing maintenance fall cleanups hardscaping projects you see we can we use the keywords of our services in here um, and that's one way that we can optimize this another way is by adding uh, your photos which we talked about and one thing that i'd recommend doing is renaming your photos before you upload them so Let's say that you've got, you know, this picture. If you go to your desktop, you, you know, right click and you rename, rename the photo like landscaper Austin, Texas, or something that's relevant to what people would be typing into Google to find your profile. Rename all of your pictures before you upload them to your Google business profile. And that is going to help you a lot. So that's another little pro tip for you guys. Um, let's talk about reviews and rankings. Obviously, one of the biggest factors that goes into how high up your Google business profile ranks in here is the reviews um, and making sure that you get your clients to leave you good reviews, five stars if possible, is really important. Like I said, we'll kind of touch on that in another video as far as how to get the most reviews. I actually have another video on that. I will make sure that it pops up on the screen right about now or have a link to it in the description. I'll do both for you guys so you can find it easier. And then also we've got SEO. Now this is where something, where things get a little more complex. And if you need help with this, I encourage you to reach out. If you go to the first link in the description of this video, um, you can book a call with me and I will discuss this whole pro uh, process in depth 
But just to give you kind of an idea of what's possible here, these are custom maps that I've made for other clients of mine that basically expands the reach of their Google business profile, creates custom GPS locations, and really helps to increase the ranking. Um, obviously, I can't, I can help you get reviews as well, actually. I was going to say it's something I can't do for you, but I can. We have a custom software that if you guys have a CRM or like a collection of your clients' phone numbers and emails, we can take all of that information, upload it into our own software, run a review campaign, and send them out a link and a customized message asking them to leave a review on your profile. So those are two things that we can do to dramatically increase the ranking of your profile. So if you want custom help with that, um, if you want professional help with that, feel free to go to the link in the description. First one, book a call with me and we can go over how we can help your business out with those things. If you guys have any other questions, be free, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, if you got any other information that you're wondering about when it comes to marketing or growing and scaling your landscaping business, also leave those in the comments and I'll make videos on those in the future. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you found this video valuable and you got some quality information from it, go out and set up your Google business profile today. Like I said, it is literally one of the most important digital assets that you guys can possibly have for your business. So get out there, get to it. If you need help, book a call, drop a comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. Have a blessed day. Peace.